Hi everybody, going to do another unboxing of sorts. Um, just ignore these twits out there. Um, a little while ago I did an unboxing of uh, an LS2 strobe helmet that I bought. Um, the size was a large, so um, I've gone and ordered another one. This one's an XL, so it's next size up. And um, on the picture on mine, um, I looked at the wording again and it said matte titanium. Um, but the picture was the matte black one, like the one that I bought previously. So I thought I was getting a matte black one, but um, what's come is a titanium one. I've gone onto eBay and I've checked the listing. And yes, it was a titanium that I purchased. I just didn't read it properly. I was just going by the picture. So let's have a look. Let's see what we got. Right, so. Here it is here. So this is, it's still a matte, but it's the titanium um, finish here. And like the other one, it came with a balaclava, some stickers, um, always read, so we'll take that off and we'll have a look at that in just a moment. So that's the protective film over there. So this is just like the other one, it's an LS2 strobe helmet. Um, air intakes there, which is good. Oops. Sorry, we've got the air intake here as well. So it's a modular helmet with the retractable sun visor there as well. So we're going to do a similar thing as we did last time. I'm not going to use the balaclava so much, but I've got a Sony dual microphone that I'm going to put in this one just like the other one. I've got some wind socks um, to help with wind protection on the ends and this is my skeleton case but it's got a different type of connection here and I'll, sh I'll show you something more about this connection when we put it all together so we'll do that now. Right so a new component that I'm going to use to mount the camera on on the helmet is um, this piece here and it swivels I'll show you and with it pushed up in this direction it locks it in place so it doesn't swivel anymore and to release it push the top button well, I'm calling it the top because that's just where it is in relation to where I am and there so just a couple of things I'd like to put out there too at the moment is um, I'd like to put a big thank you out to those who are supporting this channel. I've now got 260 subscribers to this channel which absolutely blows me away. I never anticipated getting that much interest in what I'm doing down here in New Zealand in the southern hemisphere. Right, so this is the microphone. So just like the other one, I'm going to remove this clip. So to do this, I'm going to need a needle, some tweezers, scissors, fine screwdriver, and wind socks. So the first thing is to remove this clip. And also too, I need to apologize to my subscribers too. I haven't um, uploaded anything for a little while. Um, that's because we've had a few life-changing events happen in our little household. Um, we've unexpectedly become grandparents and um, little baby's doing extremely well now, made some amazing progress. Um, our household has grown also, um, so we've got new members in our household now. And um, we've also been broken into and robbed five times within the space of two weeks so we've been very busy um, and the break-ins have been um, a bit annoying but um, there we have it we're just heading into summer now <coughs> and um, it's time to 
get things underway to, to get back into the riding season and um, so preparations are afoot at the moment to um, plan for another big ride like the last one um, heading up to East Cape and up around um, uh, up towards the Coromandel so let's get this going So just under here is a spring. We're going to remove this clip here. And just to keep the screw safe, I'm going to poke that back in the hole. So the next step is to put these wind socks on each end of the microphone there to help protect it from the wind. So those ones are awfully small, um, not as big as the other ones, but um, if they stay on they should be okay. See how long they last. Right, let's have a look. <clears throat> right, this is the swiveling piece that I showed you just before. You poke the button up like that. We're going to put this on here. Um, so the camera I'm using is um, a Sony AS20. It's an older camera now, but it works very well. And I have it side mounted, so this is where this mounting point is going to go. little bit of flex in there which um, I'm not too happy about that's a bit of flex and a bit of wobble so we'll see how that goes if that if that doesn't work out <clears throat> I'll just take this put bit off and put the solid mount on there um, I don't I don't want that to have that sort of vibration in there so we'll see how this one works out in the meantime let's um let's put the microphone in so i'm using some 3m tape here which i don't think is as good as the other stuff that i had um the red roll so um here we go let's put it all together i don't know how well this is going to stick to the um the the wind socks there but let's get it in there and see how we go get this cable to come down here and basically disappear in here without causing much interference. And 
as you might recall from the last video there was a screen here and a computer here I'll have to do all the editing for this um, upstairs now plugged into the TV so um, I'm going to stick this along here like we did with the other one Excess can go in there for now. And that was interesting. <clears throat> so I might be going back to um, the fixed mount system anyway, if that's not going to stick there. It's got a bit of a curvature to it, which should match up okay. We'll try it one more time. Scrap that. So there we go. So I've taken this piece out a little bit wobbly and they're not not happy with that amount of play in there it's a good idea I see the principle there but it's not quite what I want <clears throat> so I've gone back to the original here now in order to do that I need to get a clip for in there now, I'll just show you what I've done recently so on the bike itself I've put one here and I've put another one here so I've got the, I need to get another one of these, just like that one, and put it on the helmet, and then I can put that back on the helmet, that's fine. But I've also got other mounting options for rear facing and down here as well. So um, I'll probably pick up other cameras at some point. Now, we've seen the video I did on putting this fork stem yoke in here. I've got coming a, a 12 volt power supply um, which I've seen other people have put USB ones in here. My one's the cigarette lighter type one um, and, and others have put them in here. I had thought about putting it in here um, but the molding underneath is um, might it'd probably end up here. It's got a, a waterproof cover. It's a marine um, 12 volt um, power supply like a, like a cigarette lighter. Now over this side This is where the fuses are. Um, now I thought about putting the plug over there, but I have to be mindful of where the clearances are going to be. Um, so I'm thinking here perhaps, um, or on the other side there. But um, some is here, and um, we're good to go. And I'm going to do a whole lot more riding coming up, and I'm planning a, a, big, a big trip. Um, up to East Cape so stay tuned again thank you to all those who are supporting my channel and have subscribed to my channel I really appreciate that um, I've got the pack rack on I've got a 80 litre pack which can go in here got my saddle bags tank bags so this one's going to be quite good really looking forward to this one so stay tuned um, hit the subscribe button and um, follow me along on this journey. Once I've done this one, this will be everywhere in the North Island that I've been on a motorbike. Um, then that'll leave the South Island. So stay tuned and um, come along with me for this ride and um, the progress we're making. Thank you very much for watching.